All right, so we're talking today about multi-step inequalities with grouping symbols. And uh, when you wrote this problem down, you may be just thinking you're writing random numbers, random problem. But the actual problem that's back, the background to this one, is a student wants to know what do they need to get on the last test to keep at least a 90%. Does anyone know why 90% might be important to somebody in a class? Because that gives you an A, an, an a minus, which is an A. By the way, an A minus is the same thing as an A plus. So, sorry to burst someone's bubble. Um, when I look at these, <laughs> when I look at these numbers, I'm thinking, okay, what are they talking about? These are the first three scores of their first three tests. First test, they got an 89. Then they got a 92. Then they got an 86. And there's a fourth test that they haven't taken. But this student wants at least a 90%. Uh, percent. So they're asking, what, what grade do I need to get in order to get at least a 90%? That's what we're going to figure out in this problem here, solving for S. <clears throat> when you're looking at this numerator right here, isn't there a lot going on? This is like a lot going on here. Do you know what you guys can do with these three numbers? You can actually just add them. Yes, add them together. 89 plus 92 plus 86. So I got 9 plus 2, 11, 17. Uh, 1 plus 8, 9, 18, 26. So it's 267 when you add these three together. You're basically just making it simplified. That's what you're trying to do. So 2, 6, 7 plus S equals 4 greater than or equal to 90. Okay, is there anything else I can do to simplify? Can I make this any simpler? And the answer to that is no. I can't combine these two, and I can't just divide one of the numbers. I would have to divide both of them, and I don't want to do that. What's happening to S? First, it's being added. Then it's being divided by 4. What do I have to undo first? The division by 4. What will undo that? Multiplying both sides by four. And I am allowed to do that. What happens to those two fours? Cancel out. I'm left with two, six, seven plus S is greater than or equal to, what's 90 times four? Oh, 360. What's still happening to S that I want to undo? They're being added. So what undoes addition? Subtraction. So what do I subtract both sides by? 267. So really, I'm trying to figure out what's 360 minus 267. So I get S is greater than or equal to 93. Does anyone know what that means for this person who wants at least a 90 in the class? What does it mean? Good. A 93 or above in order to get what? A 90 for their class. So some of you are thinking, why would, why would someone want to know that? Are any of you shooting for a certain grade? Like you want at least this grade or at least that grade or at least that grade? Okay, you want at least a grade, right? And a lot of times toward the end, people start asking, Mr. A, I have a blank score. What, happen, what do I need in order to get it up one letter grade? That's the kind of problem you're working through. Maybe this is a 90, maybe this is an 80, maybe this is a 70. Whatever it is, you're trying to figure out what you want to get at least. Why would that even matter? I mean, so you have to get 93, so I'm going to get a 93 or above. What do you do with that? You study more, you ask more questions, you look at more things to help you out. Um, in college, you're going to get, or even in high school, you're going to get like a lot of finals on a day. You'll get three finals on a day. And in one class, you have a 99%. The other class, you have an 89%. And the other class, you have a 93%. So you have three exams to study for. Which one should you maybe spend a little bit more time on? The 89, because that has a good probability that you might be able to do what with it? Bring it up a little bit. Which one would you might, which one would you probably not spend as much time on the 99 because it's very hard to drop it down. And by the way, if 
you have a 99 in a class, you probably are doing pretty well in that class, right? So you, you spend a little less time. Does that mean you ignore it? Like, I don't care what happens. You know, there are actually people who do that. They're like, I would have to get a 20% on my final and it's, uh, in order to drop my grade down a letter grade. And so they're like, I don't care. Well, is that the kind of attitude you want to have? I don't care. No, you, you may not study as much, but that doesn't mean you don't study at all. Okay, let's look at another problem here. Oh my, write this down. These get more complicated. In fact, the last problem of today's lesson will get very complicated. <clears throat> and I'm going to do this for you guys. The last problem, if five or more of you get it right, I'll give you the homework. If fewer than five get it, we'll do another problem to help us out. Five of you. Out of how many in here? Twenty-two? I think, yeah. Okay, I think it's twenty-two. It's not too bad, right? It's five of you. But we'll get to that point in just a bit. All right, does anyone know what to do here? Anyone have a guess? Like, uh, maybe you do this, Alex? Um, I forgot the name. <coughs> <laughs> yes, you can use a distributive property. Is there anything else you can do? You and I will use a distributive property. Anything else I can do? Mm -hmm. Within the yeah. So here, how many terms are in there? Three. And are there any light terms inside the parentheses? Yes. What's W plus W? Two W. You're like, how'd you get two? Well, what's one W plus one W? Yes, 2W. All right, so this is what I have. There are multiple routes. I love these problems more and more as I get more comfortable because you can go, this, I want to do that, I want to do that. A Alex, you said the story of property. You could have done it. What's 2 times W? 2W. What's 2 times 4? 8. 2 times W? 2W. Uh, you're going to get the same thing down here. You'll see in just a moment. All right. Now can I use this derivative property? Mm -hmm. All right. What's 2 times 2W? Two 4W. So you would still get that. 2 times 4? 8. 8. It's less than or equal to 36. Great. Solve it. Go ahead and finish this. This is actually last night's homework, this point on. So go ahead and solve it and graph it. I need a graph. That's it. What do I do on this problem? Um, you, do eight. you subtract 8 from both sides. Yep. Subtract 8 from both sides. I get 4w less than or equal to 28. Mary, what do I do here to finish? Um, you divide both sides by 4. Both sides by 4. And I'm left with w is less than or equal to 7. seven. And to graph it, Put your numbers here. What kind of circle on seven? Close. Close. Line going to the left. Okay, that's the answer. Are you sure? Yep. How do you know for sure? Yeah, I'm going to check seven because couldn't I have messed up something and accidentally got seven when it wasn't really there? Excuse me, my voice is going out. I'm going to go with seven. What's seven plus four? Yes, 11. What's 11 plus seven? What's 18 times 2? Is 36 less than or equal to 36? Yeah. Oh. So does that check? 6 work? 8 work? That's a good thing because that's your answer right here. All right. You guys okay with that? You know what? I'm, I'm starting to see. You guys are a mystery, really. I think I could do it. How many of you are like, you could have done that on your own. You didn't need me. <clears throat> Last chapter... I started these problems out, but instead of the inequality, it was an equation. Do you guys remember? How many of you struggled with that? Be honest. I know who struggled with that. Yep, there you go. Keep raising your hand. You're like, eh, I didn't struggle with it. Really? I see your grade right here. You struggled with it. All right, a lot of us struggle with it, right? How do you feel about it now? A lot better, right? What did it take? Practice. Practice. And you know what? It also took a little bit of time. Sometimes you get a problem, you're like, uh, I don't even know what he's talking about. And then after a few days, I know what he's talking about, but I don't even know what he's doing. And then now, 
It's been like a few weeks. I know what he's talking about. I know what he to do. In fact, I don't need him to do it for me anymore. And then you're ready. Um, uh, the eighth graders, they did a problem, and I had it up here for the last class because I just left it up there. And the last class, they came and they're like, looking at it, like, what? I look at it like it's a disease or something. Get away from that. Okay, that's eighth grade. You think you'll be ready for an eighth grade? Yes. Yeah. Is it going to happen right away? No. no. We still have a year to get there. Yeah, even longer than that. We have a whole year to get to that. All right. Do this one on your own, and uh, I'm going to see if you guys get it right. <clears throat> I want a graph, and I hope you do this well and keep the signs straight and stay positive. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Some of you are already done. Check your answers, please. Because when you raise your hand to tell me you're completely done, if you get it right, if you get it right, you're one step closer to the homework. If you get it wrong, I add another problem to your path to homework. Does to get it right? Nope, just you, individuals. So you get it right. You check it. You get it. You're good. If you don't, um, shame on you because you didn't check it. All right. Who's ready for me to check it? It's a one-time deal here. All right. shy. There's only one thing. Is this the way the graph should go? Because that least degrees. Yep. Yeah. Uh, least or greatest on the graph. So you see how I got zero, negative one, eight, two. It should be negative two, negative one, zero. Oh, you switch. Uh, tricky me now. Okay, yeah. Just make sure it's always least or greatest good. Yep. Ooh, did I not check yet? Yes. A lot of yeses. Yes, again. I'm a yes man, guys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'll come around. Keep it going. What's negative 6 divided by positive 6? Negative 1. So real close. Yeah. Make the number like this is. Make it that whole like. And then they're up. Like that. Because later on it's going to be a little confusing if you only put our arrowhead. Yeah. All right. Most of you got it right. Uh, don't worry if you didn't get it right the, this time because I'm going to give you that problem in a bit. So don't stress out about it. What's six times A? Six times negative two. Less than negative 18. What do I do to both sides? 
All right, I get 6a is less than negative 6, which a lot of you are doing this really well. What's both sides divided by 6 going to get me? a is less than negative 1 because you're dividing this. And then you graph it open circle on negative 1, line going to the left. All right, let's get tougher. Five of you have to get it right. Five of you. <laughs> you all work for it. Uh, we had the last class, we had three of them get it right. They did reach that threshold. But I, I have a, I won't say, and I honestly I don't remember exactly who, but three of them did get it right. This problem, if you just look at it, you're like, what? Just write it down, take a deep breath. You're capable of doing it, but it is tough. It's not an easy problem, but that's why only five of you have to get it right. Oh, good, Mr. I don't have to try because I'm just going to depend on him and her. No, you get it right, and if ten of you get it right, even better. You definitely get it right. Yeah, and the fact that I did give them, if ten of them got it right, because they were, they thought maybe they could get it, I'm going to give you five of you can get it right. I'm letting you go. If all of us get it right, can we have no homework? Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh. Yeah. Hey, no pressure. Yeah. How about I give you two minutes to finish up? <clears throat> wow, it got quiet. So no sharing, no communicating. It's all on you. And if you don't get it right, it's okay. Show your work. We're going to figure it out together and make sure we get it. <clears throat> oh, man. Now that I look at it from here, I get what you're, I get what you're thinking. It's awful. No, just give me the inequality. I'm good with that. And um, circle your answer, and that's going to be your official answer. So if you don't want that to be your official one, you can redo it or check it or whatever. But um, I'm going to check circled answers. Okay, hold it. I'm going to check you all at once, so you have time. And I'm going to give you, I'll give you another minute. That'd be nice. I'll give you a minute, five seconds. <laughs> so this is what I do all day. I sit in my chair and relax. Watch these students do their homework. And I hope they get it right. This is awkward. Goodbye, so all right, uh, how many of you have an answer? You've gotten something? So don't share it. Don't talk to anybody about it. <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, you have it. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> Say that again. All right. Yes. Technically, fraction is preferred because you do have a fraction in here, but I'm, a, I'm not going to be picky on that one. I just want you to get it right. That's all I want. All right. Uh, 20 seconds. Man, I extended that out. And... Um, 
some of you in the last class what happened was you didn't get it right but you were so close you forgot that negative or you forgot how to divide those kind of numbers or <coughs> blank 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 okay I'm gonna work this problem out this is what I want you to do first circle your answer if you haven't already tell your neighbor what your answer is so show them this is my answer hey what's your answer so we have it verified. No changing your answers. Let's see, I get exactly what you got. All right, so you have your answers, you've shared them. Someone has checked your answer. Here's how we'll do it. Distributive property gives me negative 6C. My, negative 6C minus 20. That's okay. Minus 24 plus 3C is less than. When you first looked at this, you may have thought, man, what is he thinking? What's 4 minus 3? 1, one times 2. 2 over 4. 1 half. That's just 1 half. You can put positive 1 half. On this left side, you have like terms. You get negative 3C minus 24 is less than 1 half. How many of you got to that part at least? Like you're so far so good? Okay, good. This is not easy. Uh-oh. That's not as many as I wanted. Okay, but let's keep going. I'm going to add 24 to both sides, which gives me negative 3C is less than, you could put 24 and a half if you want. I'm going to deal with it as a fraction. What's my last step? Last step? Divide by negative 3 on both sides here. Okay, you're gonna get C is greater than, because you divide both sides by a negative, and then you're like, what? Okay, this problem right here is really 24 and 1 half divided by negative three. I've never done that problem before in my life. You could make them both improper fractions, stay change flip. So what's this improper? 49 halves times, what's the flip of negative three? Negative one third. What's a positive times a negative? Negative. Can you cancel anything out? No. Ah. So you get 49 six, which is eight and, okay, I'm gonna get fraction, then we'll get decimal. Eight and one six, <coughs> negative. Everything has to be right. Of uh, the decimal form would be negative eight point six repeating. Not six repeating. One six sounds better. And then it's six. Six is the repeating. All right. Raise your hand if you and you are verified. You got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Oh, wow. I put it here in front of it. Oh, well, what do you mean? Oh, I see. In your division. Okay. Now listen to me. Even if you didn't get to it, because that means that actually means that not everyone, our majority, did not get this. But did you see where it got messed up? Yeah. You see where it didn't come out where you wanted. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, and I can't wait to mention it once I get your attention. <clears throat> I will not give you this on your homework. I will not give it to you on a quiz, and I will not give it to you on your test. But just me giving you this problem, which is really cool. This is the cool part about this, Drew. Just me giving you this problem, increase your understanding of, of these types of problems. Just you look at it, trying to work it out. Did you all get it right? Nope. But you got better just by looking at it and doing it. All right, your homework tonight. Two through 14. And I've recanted from giving an extra problem to those people who got that last problem wrong. Just do it all. Awesome. Oh, yeah. You know, some of you, and this is sad kind of, but not really, because it kind of worked out in your favor. Some of you, you need to make sure you're doing the right page because you start doing homework, and you're like, oh, I, we've seen these problems. No, we haven't. 
And so you did next, you did tomorrow's homework. Or you're like, I don't get what's going on here. You're looking at the wrong lesson. Mr. A, that's why I was looking at about a negative uh, exponent. Yeah, you asked me about 16, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that. I was like, wow, that's pretty tough. I don't remember giving that problem, but now it makes sense. Yes. All right, so uh, go ahead and work on that. You have the rest of the time, and goodbye, Swivel.